How's it going everyone? Logan Anderson here from allstrongfitness.org back with another video for you today. The topic of this video is going to be my experiences teaching at-risk youth about careers in personal training. But before we get into my thoughts on this, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We make videos on inclusive fitness and health, helping individuals of all abilities and underserved populations get some exercise and get some good health education. So let's go ahead and talk about my experiences teaching these specific populations about fitness and health. So this video is going to be just my thoughts on my uh, recent teaching experience I had in conjunction with a company called Inner City Weightlifting. If you're not familiar with Inner City Weightlifting, they are based out of Boston, Massachusetts, and essentially they provide individuals that are at risk of getting in crime-related behavior or who have just came out of, you know, penitentiary, um, different bad areas in society that are again high risk at crime they take these specific individuals and teach them how to become a personal trainer so it's not only a way to get them off the streets but also give them some meaningful tools to hopefully uh, get a career in personal training and just better the lives of everyone so it's a really really cool organization i'll put the link for them down below inner city weightlifting but Essentially, this company actually had a teaching position for a virtual role teaching individuals in a school in Chicago on how to become personal trainers. So it was kind of a, I think they described it as a, as a charter high school where it's not part of the actual Chicago public schools, but it's still on the same schedule. So um, basically, this school specifically deals with a lot of uh, youth that are at risk. Um, it is a high school too, so it's essentially, you know, 14 to 18 year olds who are just in not the best of areas. Um, and in Chicago, we know specifically that there are a lot of crime related areas that go along in there. So essentially my role, I would go in and four times a week, I would teach a one hour virtual class to these individuals of all the ins and outs of personal training. So whether this was learning about the body, learning about nutrition, different exercises and how they can target and make your body better. I went through the whole gamut of the basics of personal training and being a coach and individual that would benefit others in their health and fitness journey. And this was a really cool experience because I was able to touch uh, a lot of different lives in a way I never thought I'd be able to. I honestly really enjoy working with underserved populations, but mainly my experiences have been with seniors and individuals with disabilities. So uh, working with at-risk individuals uh, related to crime specifically was kind of a new venture for me. And it was, again, another eye-opening experience where you know, some of these kids would come to school and they would have issues at home where they might have um, some gun violence going on. They might have um, essentially be homeless for a night. You know, a lot of these things that I can't really wrap my mind around because I wasn't brought up into that um, situation and environment. So I couldn't imagine trying to survive and thrive in those situations and come to school and even learn about personal training if I was in that environment, it'd be so difficult and tough. So it gave me a different perspective on life. And it also showed me some grace when day to day, maybe they weren't the most interactive in class. I could kind of remind myself that they are not in the same situation that I am. So it is very hard to judge them. And instead, just being compassionate and um, hopefully being a good mentor towards them. And that was kind of one of the reoccurring things that I learned for myself about this. It, is, it was less about learning about personal training and more about just giving them an outlet outside of their uh, typical quote unquote bad environment. You know, whether it's uh, family issues at home or potentially gang related violence, I'm just giving them a little bit of glimpse outside of that into a potential positive in the world. So bringing back to the actual teaching part of this, uh, since it was virtual, it was a little difficult sometimes with uh, the different electronic issues, you know, uh, sometimes the internet would go out, um, there'd be glitches, of course, actually 
having good communication through the virtual means is a lot more difficult because you're not able to control the room quite as well. Uh, it was cool because there was a liaison in the class that kind of helped assist the situation, but overall there was some difficulties and it's just not as meaningful and it's not as easy to get up and teach a virtual class versus if you're in person there's a lot more energy and um, I think it's just better both ways for the student and the teacher. So overall, it was still a great option because moving away from these COVID restrictions, it did give um, still some teaching exposure to them. And again, another look into different careers in um, the world and specifically personal training. So one of the coolest things that I thought about this experience was my final with them. So I wrote up a final, but I also was paid for to go in public and do their final out in person with them. So I took them through a, a little workout. Actually, they took me through a little workout. I kind of made them a sample program. They took me through a workout as if I was a client and it was super cool. They really impressed me. They were very professional. Uh, they knew the exercises pretty well. And again, like at the end of the day where you, you question like, is this really sticking with them? And it showed me that through that final where I went out in public with them, that it did stick with them, um, even if it was just a little bit. And uh, their communication was, was again, super profound. And um, this whole reoccurring idea of I put myself in a position that would make a lot of people really uncomfortable. You know, the school I went to, I literally had to go through a metal detector to go through. That's not something I ever had to experience. So um, obviously not the best of areas. But because of that, I was able to um, show that these individuals, that there are people outside, uh, you know, quote unquote, on the outside world that that care about them and want them to succeed and that it's not all doom and gloom. And hopefully to show yourself and others who watch this video that this is a population that can get some attention and specifically in regards to becoming personal trainers. A lot of them like working out. And a lot of them like showing their friends how to work out. So let's pair it together. Let's get them a career in personal training, get them off the streets, right? This is the whole idea with uh, not only what I was doing, but with inner city weightlifting. Again, that company I mentioned. So these are kind of my general experiences teaching at-risk youth about careers in personal training. Uh, inner city weightlifting is a great organization if you're in Boston, Massachusetts and you're interested in learning more about them. Again, I'll put the link down below in the video. So thank you so much again for clicking on this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more inclusive fitness, helping all the underserved populations improve their uh, health, fitness, uh, education. Thank you again for clicking on the video and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out of it, I'm out of it Moment To tell me you're no good I'm brushing away